video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They have a huge variety up on their website, including the new battle style set. So definitely check out the website and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your complete order. How wonderful is that? Even uh, yeah, for the stuff like uh, Reshazard codes, Mew Mew codes, Luke Metal codes, Eternus codes, Zacian codes, League Battle decks, you name it. Be sure to check out the website. It's awesome. Also, check out uh, cardmarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every single day. You can buy and sell uh, cards to people all across Europe, which is actually very wonderful. And you can uh, yeah, just go on the website by clicking that link, the affiliated link in the description. You're going to be helping me out a ton. Anyhow, uh, without further ado, let's just get this video started. I'm already hyped up. Hopefully, you guys are hyped as well. Peace! <laughs> A lot of cards will soon be gone, yeah, rest in peace, blood cephalon, rotation will be sword and shield on, so throw away your peek around. Well, first off, no more welder, no Jirachi with that stellar, that car was just the best ever, it helps all the deck builders. Also, no more Mewtwo, no to that name, they say screw you, GX cards are overdue, we knew that it would happen soon. And finally, there's KDP, everyone hated it, yeah, you and me, games were over in 1, 2, 3, but it ends now, it's leaving C, yes! Rotation season 2022. Which cards are gone? Find out today. What's up, YouTube? It's Zandos TCG here, and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. On this channel, you get daily Pokemon TCG videos, so be sure you are subscribed. We recently uh, hit 30,000 subscribers, so I want to thank every single one of you guys that uh, still stuck around ever since 2011. We've uh, almost like celebrated 10 years of Zandos TCG. Anyhow, today we have information about rotation. There's always a rotation every single year, and today we're going to be looking at the cards that we're losing. The rotation season 2021 will actually be short and shield on. We already predicted this, so uh, there's no uh, big issue issues going around for us because we, we already were predicting that this is going to be the format. It's going to be uh, starting off on September 10th, so that's going to be the new season. So for the 2022 season, cards with a D and an E regulation marks are legal for use as well as any future regulation marks that may be released. So uh, that's uh, those regulation marks are on the left bottom corner of cards. As you can see in certain cards like Azation, for instance, you will see a D uh, on that card. As of right now, uh, that includes all cards from Sword and Shield expansion. New cards still must follow the appropriate awaiting period to become legal for tournament play. So that means two weeks. We already know that. Support for the fairy type uh, uh, in Pokemon TCG stopped in Sword and Shield uh, series. So that means, yeah, the energy is no longer legal. So the basic fairy energy will not be legal for standard format used in 2022. Interesting. So we actually discarded like the fairy type instantly. So this video will of course give you an insight on what which cards we're losing, which decks are gonna be going away. But we're gonna be doing a separate video about that. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button as it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. So this is the question you are uh, asking yourself, which cards are gone? Well, uh, first of all, we have, uh, yeah, these are the sets that we're going to be uh, losing. Team Up, Unbroken Bonds, Unified Minds, uh, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Face. There are a couple of cards that were also in there that were, saw some play. And then uh, the Sun and Moon promos, all of them are gone. So it's going to be Sword and Shield onwards. That means all the promos from Sword and Shield are legal, as well as all the Sword and Shield sets as of late. Okay, Team Up. These are, these are all the cards that we're losing. So as you can see... Uh, a couple of cards. Uh, I don't know if there. Uh, if I forgot any cards. If I forgot any cards, be sure to put them down in the comments section below. But these are the most relevant Pokemon cards that I could find that actually will leave the format on uh, September 10th, 2021. So as you can see, Shame and Prism Star, Free Retreat, Salsam Play, and Rillaboom decks. We have Charizard, Roaring Resolve, sometimes thought a little bit of tournament success. It's still a stage two, but it has a crazy good ability. Nine Tails, Nine Temptations used to be one of the best cards before Boss's Orders got printed. And I should also let you guys know that this is probably the best rotation ever. Not only can, do we get rid of cards like ADP, there's also a lot of things that we're keeping, like your research, your money, your Boss's Orders, your Quick Balls, your Level Balls, your entire engine of uh, like uh, deck build is still around so uh, we, we, we might lose Pokemon communication but we still have great ball level ball and quick ball so don't worry about it too much this is the best rotation we've actually been in worse situations and uh, for instance in 2019 just before worlds there was a rotation and uh, we lost a whole heap of cards that actually were very very vital for the game so we uh, had a lot of trouble by building decks but this is not the case right now 
decks that we're losing here. Pika Ram is out. Pika Ram is entirely out. Zapdos, awesome play with Zapdos Jirachi. I used to love that deck, played it a lot during that season. Zapdos Jirachi was my uh, deck to go to. We have Tapu Koko Prism Star also leaving. Very good energy acceleration. We have Gengar Mimikyu saw a uh, resurgence in play with Amastar, and uh, to say the least, Amastar also leaves the format. And uh, Gengar Mimikyu also saw some play in the uh, Galaxy Mewtwo list and all that good stuff. We have Lycanroc, that, that was the last Lycanroc GX remaining, the Dawn form. Twilight Eyes, you can discard some energies from the opponent's active if you evolve into it. Saw some play with Dragapult VMAX. We have Absol, uh, get the, uh, this Absol was very huge back in the days of a skateboard. We also saw that a skateboard left last year, and now we are uh, yeah, having an Absol uh, getting the retreat uh, up by one for basic Pokemon. It's not too good because VMAX is our evolution Pokemon. Evelto saw an uh, incredible amount of success. I don't know if you can see it uh, thanks to our uh, lovely sponsor. Uh, we're actually gonna be showcasing it here. Evelto here with the derail, derail attack, getting rid of special energies, but more importantly, having free retreat. Saw a whole heap of play and the Eternus VMAX deck. We have Incineroar GX. This one, uh, yeah, right behind me is going to be the one that has been seen play in Mewtwo list all over the globe. And uh, it's very good because of the Darkest Tornado GX. Jirachi Stellarish, probably the most impactful card from team up besides like Picaram. Stellarish was everywhere. I, yeah, how many times have you Stellarish in your life? You cannot even count it, do, do you? <laughs> That's a lot because almost all decks revolved around Jir Stellarish Jirachi at one point. We've seen Jirachi working out in Blossophilon, working out in Mewtwo, working out in Picaram at one day. So lots of Stellarish uh, and uh, Evolution decks like Decidueye. So Jirachi was everywhere. Even now it is still played. Ever since its release, it's an incredible amount of play. We have Bronzong, the heat for proof ability. I did find out the very noteworthy and team up that we had a Bronzong that is immune by damage from fire types, saw play and look metal decks. We have Pidgeotto. Now with Lava Ball, this is a uh, yeah, very, very insane. Uh, you can use Aramil. On the other hand, we still keep Chinchino, so not a big loss. Persian make and pay. Crazy to just uh, make a, your opponent reveal their hand. You can discard cards you find there until the opponent has four cards remaining. So that is very impactful in stall decks. That's a lot of play. And Aerodactyl sometimes also saw play with Fossil Fangs, dishing out 180 for three energies or a triple accelerated energy. So those are the Pokemon from Team Up. I think the most impactful ones are Jirachi and Pikaram here. So uh, say goodbye to your Jirachi engines. And uh, yeah, Pikaram, finally get, get out of here. You already saw enough success. Next up, uh, the trainer cards. Uh, Bill's Analysis also saw a reprint in Shining Fates, uh, or actually in Hidden uh, Fates, so that is also uh, gone. So uh, just to say that. Also, Erika's Hospitality, we're gonna talk about that in Hidden Fates as well, but I just put it on here. Black Market Prism Star, all of, for, from all of these trainer cards, I think the most impactful ones are Pokemon Communication and Viridian Forest. These still saw a lot of play during their lifespan. Uh, it's unfortunate that there's the first turn support rule, so Jasmine wasn't too playable. Also, Dangerous Drill didn't see a lot of play, to be honest. So you can, of course, get rid of special energies and tool cards. Sometimes Eternus list uh, ran this uh, to just counter some uh, yeah, stadiums or special energies. But on the other hand, there's also Derail Attack of Evelto that can get rid of, get rid of special energy. So I don't know how to feel about this. We have Nanu. Very, very funky combos were possible with Nanu to swap a basic uh, Darkness Pokemon from your... Yeah, choose a basic... Darkest Pokemon in your discard pile and switch it to one of each, one of your Pokemon. Very interesting for sure. We have Wondrous Labyrinth, Buff Petting, getting more HP. But on the other hand, we have Cape of Toughness as well as Big Charm, so no big losses. And the fossils also get rotated out. So no more fossil parties going around. No unidentified fossils. Uh, here we have ourselves, uh, yeah, the Pheromosa Boswell. Saw a lot of play with Ms. Magus until Ms. Magus actually got banned. And then also uh, the Beast Game GX also play in the Zabdos Beast Game <laughs> Beast Box deck. Reshazar is gone. Still sees a whole heap of play. Volcanion and Blacephalon as well. So Volcanion is a sense scores list. That's going to be painful. Reshazar on its own. Double Blaze, Donking People, or just having the tempo with Tempo's Art. Blacephalon, my favorite card is gone right now. Be sure to let me know in the comment section what your favorite card from uh, this era was. There's Dugong, Dual Blizzard, 62 to 2. Saw some play. The Danny GX is gone. So in my opinion, uh, the top five cards we're losing, I'm actually going to note them down. But the Danny Jirachi are uh, high up on the list. Picaram, Reshazar, very great cards. Mew is also a very huge impactful card with Bench Barrier. This opens the door for Rapid Strike Urshifu to just go crazy because there's no more Bench Barrier. Mind Report Mewtwo with Scoop on that was busted to get back supporters from the discard pile on top of the deck. You could get them out with Orangru, you could draw them out with Chinchino, you could Stellarish, but Stellarish is gone. So there was a lot of great combos with Mewtwo going around. You can even draw it with uh, a supporter if you want to have a supporter for the following turn. There's Weezing with Detention Gas at one time, a very busted deck at Worlds with the Baby Bus from Forbidden Lights. Now, not that 
that much anymore because Pokemon have bazillion amount of HP. We have Asper, Irkinesis, saw some play in Malamar decks before Malamar eventually rotated. Marshadow, resetting hole was very great to get rid of like power plants, but more importantly, Chaotic Swell. This is your swell counter here. Very, very huge. And uh, unfortunately, this is actually going to be rotating. Uh, so uh, when Path of the Peak comes out and Chilling Ring, and you're not able to have Marshadow, you can actually lock people like Path of the Peak, Marty, you win the game. We have uh, Greninja Zoroark, uh, so not too much play. We have Spiritomb, so a huge amount of play. Spiritomb ADP, Spiritomb like, by itself right now, Spiritomb Domphan, lots of crazy things with Spiritomb as a one price attacker. Very, very good. Luke Metal still sees play because of the full Metal Wall GX, discarding energies, having Metal Saucer, having Crushing Hammers. This was a very great archetype. Uh, also, Gardevoir and Sylveon was very great at one point. One of the best decks in format, but then unfortunately the first turn support, supporter rule was there. And uh, yeah, suddenly Gardevoir didn't have access to like first turn green if you went first. So that's unfortunate. We have Whimsicott GX, also saw some little bit of play here and there. And Porygon Z is like the best friend of any special energy deck ever. Uh, for instance, the amazing rare Pokemon and all that stuff. Moving forward for the trainer cards, uh, the most impactful ones are green and Welder for me. Also Power Plant, but we get Path to the Peak. So Power Plant, who cares about Power Plant when you have Path of the Peak? Pokegear, I don't, if, is Pokegear also reprinted? I should check that out. Maybe we get a reprint of Pokegear. I'm not 100% certain here. Just because uh, we are not 100% certain, we're actually gonna go to a website here, pokemoncards.net, uh, just for you guys. Uh, or actually, actually it's .com, yeah. Sorry for that, folks, but I actually wanna make sure that uh, we are not making here, uh, let's see here. Maybe go to Limitless. Limitless is also good to check that out. So we have Pokegear. Pokey Gear 3.0 and Broken Bonds, Sword and Shield. So yeah, disregard that. The um, yeah, the Pokey Gear is still around. Let's get rid, rid rid of it as a little correction. So uh, I actually noted that down. So uh, I'm glad I was able to do that in this video. Fire Crystal very huge. Weller very huge. Lieutenant Search strategy. All these cards are incredibly incredibly huge. Uh, saw a lot of play during their lifespan. Definitely Weller still over uh, overwhelming. Like very dominant uh, supporter card, allowing you to attach two energy and drawing uh, three cards is just ridiculous. This was probably the most powerful supporter I've ever seen, if you don't uh, regard like research, but this is very good, Welder. Lieutenant Search, if you're behind, any stall deck is gonna miss this because you're always gonna be behind in prize cards. Green, I had a lot of success with Green's Blasophilon, like a lot of success. If you check out Limitless results, uh, this was like my deck to go until the first turn supporter rule struck and uh, yeah, we weren't able to play Green on our first turn. And uh, Electromagnetic Radar for the Dunny, but the Dunny is also leaving, so that's that. Now, moving forward. Unified Minds, here we go. Unified Minds uh, was a set that actually came out just before Worlds and we didn't have a lot of time for testing for Worlds during that time, but um, yeah, these are the cards that are most impactful. What can you see is uh, Rao X, still see a lot of play. Mewtwo is like very dominant and slaps weakness against Urshifus. We have uh, Espeon and Deoxys. Did, sa did see a lot of play before the first turn supporter rule because if you went first, you could Welder, and that was very crucial for uh, Espeon Deoxys with Cross Division. You see that you saw that a lot in the World Championships. Be sure to check out those videos. Uh, we have uh, Jinx, a best friend of, of course, Spear 2, moving around your damage counters. Heatran GX busted as a one hit KO, Hot Burn GX attack. Thanks to using the Burning Road, you can absorb all energy. So, weldering onto a Jirachi or weldering onto a Bench Hitter wasn't a problem. Chandelure, very cool rogue deck. But on the other hand, if you like that, go play Santa Kanda. Caldeo at one time was busted because of his pure hard ability when the format was filled with only GX Pokemon. That was very huge. Now, VMAXs have to taken over. But still, sees a little bit of play in the form of uh, uh, Frostmoth decks being able to use Resolute Blade GX against stuff like Eternus. There's Raichu and Alone Raichu, like the Tandem Shock is like the main heart and soul of uh, any Picaron deck that wants to just get back in the game. Reset Stamp, Tandem Shock was very huge. Aerodactyl GX actually played at the World Championships, by the way. Uh, very great with Wild Dive and actually with Ditto Prism Star when we still had that. This was awesome. And uh, my deck actually went 5-3 in the World Championships with Aerodactyl and Frostlass. On the other hand, I didn't put Frostlass in because I think I'm the only person that actually uh, f found that card very useful. What else did you see is Giratina Dimension Breach with Scoop Up Net busted. Jirachi GX, get rid of your Psychic Weakness. So uh, no more getting rid of your Psychic Weakness. There's no more uh, Weak Guard energy. There is, of course, no uh, other things to save your Urshifus for their weakness. So Latios GX also saw a lot of play when tag teams were all around. So with the tag purge, Clear Vision also shuts down Ultra Creation and all that. We have the Rototiller Excadrill. Uh, recently saw play with Tord Reckliff. Uh, piloting that deck to a high success in the Players' Cup 3. We have Umbreon Darkrai GX uh, with Dark Moon. Sometimes I'll 
play in certain Eternity's lists. And also, there was a Dark Box deck with Weavile Jack uh, created uh, during the time of Worlds. It wasn't that good. But I think there was uh, at least one person getting into like top 60 forward worlds with Dark Box at least. There's Hoopa, there's Mawal GX, like the bread and butter for your ADP deck to slap down the opponents Dene and Crobat. Garchomp was also, Garchomp Giratina saw a huge success with like uh, Weezing and Roxy and all that stuff, but then faded out a little bit and then Naganadal and any Mewtwo deck to snipe some stuff or in Beast Box. Then, for the trainer cards, most impactful is like Cherish Ball, but on the other hand, if the GXs rotate, we don't care. Coach Trainer, same story, it's for tag teams to let you draw four cards. Dark City, pretty impactful if you still want to be playing that Poison Eternatus list. Now you have to like play lots of escape ropes and switches instead. You have Giant Bomb, saw some niche play. More in Japan though, not a lot in the Western world. Giant Heart is huge for fire decks, but on the other hand, yeah, Welder's gone anyhow. So lots of like crazy archetypes. I would say like uh, fire decks get suffered a lot and lightning decks get suffered a lot by this rotation. Weak Guard Energy, very, very impactful because you're no longer getting rid of your weakness. No Weak Guard Energy, no Jirachi GX or whatever you need to get rid of certain weaknesses. Great Potion, again, uh, specifically for GX Pokemon. Karate Bell was good. This also saw a lot of play with Rapid Strike Urshifu, so we have to say goodbye to that. Pokemon Research Lab, don't mind because the Unidentified Fossils are gone anyhow. Reset Stamp, this is a huge one. This is a huge one. So as I was saying, if we uh, just uh, let uh, go back in time, we have Stellar Wish is huge, Picaram is huge, Pokemon Communication is huge, the Fire Stuff is huge, Rash's Art Volcanion Canyon Blown is huge, Wilder Fire Crystal Giant Heart, those are like very crazy things that we're losing here, and uh, Reset Stamp. Those are all the cards you should throw down and like, ah, oh, we're missing this. Uh, the Stadium Navigator saw a little bit of play in certain decks, but not too much as of late. Tag Switch, again, for tag. And there's a lot of like tag team support here. Coach Trainer, Tag Switch, Great Potion. U-Turn Board is very good uh, in those decks that want to hit and run, because U-Turn Board, if it gets discarded, you can actually get it back. Whimsicott will actually uh, cry in a corner right now because you are not able to get back your U-Turn Board. So Whimsicott sees a huge decrease in play and it also is uh, not seeing this amount of success just yet. Also, Recycle Energy is gone. Moving forward, Cosmic Eclipse, the set with the one and only AD freaking P. ADP is gone. That means one prizers have a little bit of breeding era, or is it they cannot breed anymore because there's still Dragapult V Max with Max Phantom, and there is still Rapid Strike Urshifu. And without Mew, one prize decks might still struggle to set up. Definitely like evolution decks because of Rapid Strike Urshifu and the G Max Rapid Flow, or just Max Phantom of the uh, the Dragapult V Max. But still, ADP is gone. That's nice. People can no longer complain that the game is over in three turns. That's something I didn't like. What else? Uh, some Grass uh, GXs, Venusaur and Snivy, Niche play and Mewtwo decks. Uh, we also had like Vileplume GX. This saw uh, a more increase in play as of late. Cridalee, this is the deck that actually um, made sure we got knocked out of Players' Cup 3 in the uh, qualification rounds. We actually qualified for Players' Cup 3 and then in the uh, regional finals, this this deck shows up. Cridalee with Almastar and we lost the game because we didn't have an answer for it. So I'm glad that fella is gone. Uh, Charizard and Bryson sometimes are playing green Charizard did list. Fionn is gone. On the other hand, we get, we have Escape Rope now, so don't mind about that at all. We have Magneton, Call Signal. We've seen uh, a yeah, certain list of Scorch running Magneton, blowing itself up. You having Lieutenant Surge and some other cards. But Lieutenant Surge is gone, so seeing Magneton gone is not a big issue. Blow Away Bombs was nice with Roxy. There's also a coughing that had that, by the way. Or Choreo Jacks. Oh, this is the card I'm gonna miss so much. Drawing cards when somebody got knocked out. I love that effect. Mimikyu uh, has also gone with the Shadow Box, shutting down GXs that have damage counters on them. This saw, uh, as of late, play with Rapid Strike Urshifu to have an answer against Mewtwo. Also shutting down Orokoryo, shutting down Heatran, shutting down Selvalli, whatever you want to shut down, it was possible. We have Blossophilon with the Firework Bombs. There's no more Blossophilon in Standard. Oh no, what am I gonna, what am I gonna do? We have Flygon GX, uh, which saw a little bit of play with Robin Schultz, or actually Philip Schultz. Either one of those. Testing this list out to uh, some great success, to be honest. So uh, it actually saw a down increase in play ever since Rusted Sword came out in ADP Zation uh, in the Shining Fate set. But uh, nevertheless, it's also a little play. We have uh, Excadrill. I think this is uh, Ross, his favorite card. You know, the Wasi, <laughs> PTCG Radio, his favorite card is gone. We have Alolan Persian Jax. Didn't see the hype I uh, initially uh, was thinking about this uh, card because it was immune from damage from like Pokemon with special energies, tag teams and all that stuff, and Ultra Beast. So that was interesting ability. Never utilized it to the full max, maybe in hit and run decks. Guzzlord taking additional prize cards. I added it in here because I thought it was pretty impactful in certain dark box decks. ADP. 
ADP is gone. So for like Cosmic Eclipse, I think ADP and or Choreo is just gonna cut it for me. Uh, they also Guz, uh, Guzzlord and Naganadel GX saw a little bit of playing Greens List with Ms. Magius before Ms. Magius got banned. Uh, we have Magalopunny and Jigglypuff. Uh, saw some playing like certain decks. We saw it in Wilder decks. We saw them Mewtwo decks. We saw sometimes in Rillaboom decks. So you have answers uh, because it only required uh, you to accelerate three energies. But with more V Maxes in the format, we don't we're not gonna miss this. Silvala GX instantly gets replaced by Cricket Tune V. So don't worry about it in the slightest. Then for the trainer cards, impactful cards, Cadex Well. Chaotic Swell is gone, that means stadiums, it's Stadium War again. Don't worry about losing the Stadium War stuff, like if you don't know which Stadium card to put in, everybody re relied on one Swell, that's not gonna be the case, so uh, there's gonna be difference, uh, differences on how you make your deck, so Swell is gone. Clay saw some play with ADP a little bit, we have the Tackle engine entirely, Mellow Lala, Goose Hala, Cynthia Catlin and Tackle entirely. Very great engine, I love that engine, we've played that in uh, Ore Beetle decks, we've played that in... Um, uh, what other decks uh, was there? <laughs> yeah, Tackle is just very powerful. You could play that in the greens list to have yourself other outs like Cynthia Catlin or Melolana to find your tag teams as well. Tackle was just a very nice engine. Also saw playing the Sidewire list uh, just to get your uh, Melolanas and all that good stuff. Very, very impactful. Uh, Island Challenge Amulet never saw a lot of play except for maybe in the Whimsicott deck. Great Catcher was awesome as that one-off item card that actually allows you to gust. Gusting is powerful. We do have Boss's Orders, but that requires you to play the Supporter off turn. But the GXs are gone anyhow. So GXs are gone, Jirachi is gone, uh, Rashes are gone, Pikaram's gone, Mewtwo's gone, ADP is gone. So a lot of powerful archetypes now getting shoved to the side. So that's interesting. Uh, Lily Spokedal. So stall decks are gonna cry. They're losing uh, their Excadrill, they're losing their Lily Spokedal, but stall always finds a way to come back. Look at Sander Wojcik. He's like a genius in that department. Professor Oak setup, not good because of the first turn support rule. I had high hopes. I actually played this in my uh, Quagnac deck back in the day because you could get like Ditto, Poipal, Whooper. Remember those? Or different uh, forms of Whooper. Red and blue to evolve uh, into Weavile or Selvali. Rosa, a very expensive like a holographic trainer card to say the least because they saw playing some niche decks, for instance, the Sijuai Obstagoon and stuff. Roxy, very nice to spread damage across the field. Uh, Will uh, ensuring you you have a, an automatic heads on a coin flip. Uh, did still some play install decks and then draw energy. Then uh, this is the last set. Next we're gonna talk about the uh, the, the sun and moon promos. Yeah, here we have hidden fates. Uh, Surrender now is very great with Jesse James. You just see, recently saw this played in the Excadrill Handlock deck. Then there's Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos, probably one of the best artworks ever created. I love this card. Uh, saw some play in Green's List with the Victini from Unifying Minds, by the way. Didn't put Victini on because that was the only time it shined. We have Bill's Analysis finally rotating here. Uh, Erica's Hospitality also saw a print and team up, but they both go away, so don't matter. Doesn't matter. Brock's Grit uh, shuffling some stuff. This saw a little bit of play recently in uh, like um, Sandaconda as well as Chandelure. Giovanni's Exile, Mad Party will uh, be sad because they're losing the Danis as well as their Giovanni's Exile, so they will turn themselves into a two prizer once again. Two prizers on the bench with Boss Zordis, not too safe. Lieutenant Surge. So, Stall gets slapped in the face. No more Surge, no more Excadrill, no more Munch Legs, no more Lily Spoke at all. That's, can we say? Picaram gets slapped in the face, it's gone now. Uh, Reshizard decks are also gone, although you can still play uh, like. <laughs> yeah, Wilder decks are done, gone entirely. You can still play Victini V Max, that's what I was about to say. Also, uh, Mewtwo decks are gone, as well as ADP decks. So the format will look very differently, and we're gonna be talking about which decks are very great for post-rotation and other videos. But for now, uh, also, uh, we're gonna be talking about the Sun and Moon promo. So Evolutions, uh, Flareon saw a little bit of play on Jolteon, Vaporeon, not that much. Uh, Greninja, GX, having yourself a way out against uh, wall Pokemon. For instance, Altaria, the Sigewide, uh, wasn't a problem for Mewtwo because you could have used that Mist Slash attack. Charizard, GX, Flareless, 300. These cards on their own are not good, but paired with Mewtwo, they were good. Trevenant and Dusnor is like insanely good, and it will still slightly be in the format when Cresselia comes out, but I, I suggest playing uh, Dusnor, Trevenant with Cresselia, a Chip Chip, Ice Axe, and Reset Stamps, and then you can just uh, go for Nightwatch. Nightwatch is a very scary attack. 150 and shuffle two of the opponent's cards in hand. Back in there the deck, it's crazy. Champions Festival, the world's promo. I still have that in my binder somewhere. Also rotating. Alolan Sand Slash GX saw some play with Malamar before uh, that set rotated, but I also saw some play with Ore Beetle, and then that also, yeah. Alolan Sand Slash, interesting cards, 100 on everything that already has a damage counter, and then the A-Pomp Yank out was a crazy uh, one-off to just uh, put yourself into like wall decks. Anyhow, this was it. This was it for this uh, yeah compact video, 25 minutes of us talking about which cards are leaving the rotation. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed 
uh, this video if you did be sure to mouse that like button as always as it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think be sure to thank our sponsors potownstore.com the best place to get yourself some tcg code cards use the coupon code zablercg for five percent off maybe you're looking for zation codes maybe you're looking for dracapult codes maybe you're looking for battle styles or the, the next next set when it comes out this is the website for you use the coupon code for five percent off zablercg also, uh, be sure to check out cardmarket.com, the best place to get yourself physical product. If you're a European player, you can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe, and I personally use it every single day. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. Uh, this is the rotation. You already have an idea of which cards you need to sell ASAP before they get they get lowered in value. And uh, be sure to look on the horizon for sword and shield on videos, which we're gonna be making maybe sooner than later. But uh, first of all, we have to focus on Players Cup 4. So we're gonna do that first. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. Peace.